Hello, welcome to this month's vlog. This month our big project was to completely reorient the studio as well as set up some barriers that could help with sound and light separation since this is all one big room but we're trying to create a place where like a baby could sleep and we could work and separate brain spaces could exist. I'll put a link in the description to my original apartment tour but here's how things looked in the beginning. This one wall area had just become such a mess we just dumped stuff there and it generally stayed out of my shots, but all of that changed this month. I always feel like I look extra <laughs> pregs in this dress in a good way, but this is the one that really, oh my gosh, really shows off the bump sides. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I don't plan on coming in here in the beginning to always make these intros. I think I'm still figuring out like how I want to do these and like my tone, I don't know, my voice. But I really appreciate you guys following this journey and being here as I get a little bit more familiar with sharing more of my own life with you guys. Hello, today I'm officially done in Fizzleline. I'm so happy. I'm about to head out to go get the little notches removed on my teeth that have been put there since June last year to lock in the trays and help them make their progress every day. I think I'll be fitted for a nighttime tray that I'll have to wear maybe for the rest of my life. But as of today, my teeth shall be free. So excited. We spent all of yesterday afternoon and evening getting this set up. Dan and I installed these shelves to try to turn this wall into more of a console wall that will be a lot more useful to us. We're just trying to make this space work for baby stuff. And then we are also putting in this super tall curtain track. I think it's gonna look really good. Right now, however, everything is a mess. Sakwa has found the whole stash of toys that we've been hiding from her. <laughs> reborn yeah all the impressions and stuff went well so i think in two to three weeks i'm gonna pick up my overnight trays i'm supposed to wear them every single night for a year and then i can wear them every other night thereafter but i feel like i'm just gonna wear them every other night so i don't get confused and forget got some pizza to celebrate i feel really proud of myself for doing this because I think there were a lot of things in the last year that felt like they went on pause because of COVID and that's very understandable but I generally try to operate under a mentality of like don't wait for someone else or something like if you can do it now why not back when I started I was like nine months it's gonna take so long but now that I'm on the other side of finishing the procedure I just feel like yeah we did it Obviously can't guarantee that everyone's small correction experience will be the same, but I don't know. If you're on the fence and you're willing to put up with a little bit of extra hassle every day for a stretch of time, I think you can do it. <laughs> packed day. I'm gonna show you guys the types of stuff we've been doing in the home to just try to make some space in preparation for baby stuff. Some of you may be familiar with this divider that was built with the Sorry Girls and this has worked well for Dan and I to have a sense of separation for a bed space but it doesn't do much in terms of blocking light and sound so doop, you may see them up there. Dan installed these IKEA curtain tracks and then the curtains were hung up there to test them out, but now they're just strewn everywhere in our home because they got taken down to get lengthened to the correct length. The rule with curtains, I guess, is they should just graze the floor and 
we're trying to hit that spot. Julia was helping sew them because it's a lot of work to do and I'm super, super grateful. I got my nighttime trays. I had to try them on and it feels so good to wear something specifically made for you. It's just like shocking. In half an hour, I have an appointment to get a new pair of glasses and I just checked and it will take me half an hour to walk there and I should be walking much more than I do. So I'm gonna walk to my glasses appointment and get my favorite coffee and cookie on the way. <laughs> Classic trap. Hi, sweetie. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Who's that, Zakwa? Okay, I went out and got my new glasses. <laughs> I don't think I've bought new glasses in over seven years, but I was anticipating that I might wear glasses a bit more once baby comes. And uh, yeah, I wanted a very sturdy, resilient pair because my understanding is that babies just love to grab things that are on your face and throw them on the ground. Hopefully these glasses survive that calling. Today, I'm gonna tackle this mess that is formed in our home as part of us moving things around. It's just a giant mess. Everywhere. Instead of leaving them lying around the house, I would like a system to organize these patterns. This is some clothes that for sure does not fit me anymore. So there's no point in it being in the closet. I gotta put it away for now. And the weather has improved significantly, which means it's probably also time to pack away all the sweaters and warm stuff. No more turtlenecks needed. And as is the universal rule of cleaning up, you always make a bigger mess first. Oh my gosh. This day two of tackling this mess, it actually got even bigger because then I realized there was even more clothes that I can't wear that for some reason I thought I could. I just finished recording an interview for a conference. I don't know if I'll ever get to share that footage with you, but it was a good time. And... This ends today. Yeah, right. <laughs> you have to manifest. <laughs> yes, I'm still wearing these overalls. Well, when it's an interview, I feel like I have to wear something I made so that I'm representing. So, turtleneck, me made. Overalls, me made. I guess I need to start making socks. Wearing something every day after you've made it is a good sign that you're happy with the outcome, so. 
no shame. <laughs> Sakawa's recovery update. Still got the cone. She's gonna have to wear it for two weeks. So I think she's a quarter of the way done. All right, here's where we're at with the divider situation right now. Managed to get the floor to ceiling curtains done. You can see right here, this is the seam where all of this is the original curtain so that you can maintain the built-in track ribbon system. And then the rest down here, all cut up from extra curtains to just join them across the way. This is blackout, this one's sheer. Hopefully gives a nice effect. <laughs> this empty space is gonna be where a bassinet will go, I guess. You'll have to wait for a future video to see how that comes together. I've started a little box of things that I'm gonna bring with me to the hospital. This is gonna be the baby's first diapers, I guess. Overall though, we're pretty happy with it. Definitely blocks out a ton more light when we sleep at night. And we got it done. Yes. Over here, this is how my new studio area stands. The desk can be pulled in and out depending on whether I want to tuck everything away or right now I have it set up because I'm doing some work. Kept my lockers, installed all this shelving to just draw the eye upward and the pegboard ended up being a perfect fit right there. Look, at it's like literally on the edge. And so if I'm working, baby can be just over there in the bedroom. My old studio spot has become Dan's workspace. This is his makeshift cubicle wall until we get a nice more soundproof foam divider. Oh yes, and now that it's been a few months since I had that video where I installed these big bad boys, this was the best investment we made in all of COVID. It just blasts the studio with light. And I will put a link to these in the description because these were our lifesavers. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to end this vlog with finishing our mess, but our Ikea order arrived, which will let us pack everything up. First into the deep corner of the closet. The clothes that I probably won't be able to wear till next year. Winter slash keepsake DIYs. Bedding that we don't need anytime soon. Anyways, it's bedding. And in this space right here, it's gonna be this rolly cart. <laughs> She's got sweaters. She's got seasonal accessories. Dan's dremels and various tool knickknacks. She's got my quilt batting. She's got some fabric that you can shop for on my online store my gardening supplies, in we go. Finally, our living room space is somewhat manageable. This right here is Sakwa's little resting corner when she wants to be with us in the living room. I obviously still have to do the laundry situation that was over here. My wardrobe has simplified significantly since so many things I used to own don't fit anymore, so. It's kind of been a nice excuse to just pare down and be simple. And this closet, oh, I'm so happy with how this Ikea thing turned out. Here's the rolly rack with all its perfectly fit boxes. You know what this is missing though? Labels. This cardboard bin up here is where I go whenever you guys buy merch from my shop. So if you want to check out the little knickknacks I have there, I'll put a link in the description. Sagwa just has one more week on her cone and then she'll be free. There's still some other spots in the house that need to be organized, but that will get handled this month, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for bearing with me as I get more comfortable just talking about life in front of the camera. <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.